The next thing I want to do is again not worry about specific sounds or intonation or anything complicated with the left hand and this type of exercise is good for anyone and everyone to do. I still do it if I'm feeling a little bit disorientated with my violin. I want you to take all four fingers and bring the elbow right underneath the violin so that your hand is naturally over the fourth finger and you want a nice natural curve here. You don't want any awkward position. You don't want your thumb sticking out anywhere strange. You don't want the fingers to be all angular. It should feel extremely easy. Take all the pressure off of you, nice and curved and relaxed. Please forgive the number of times I say the word relaxed. I know I'm like a broken record. I'm sorry. It's just because it's so important and I'm gonna say it many more times in this video. Now, what I want you to start to do is bounce the fingers and you should be bouncing them in such a relaxed way that they make this type of noise. So we're starting roughly on the G string which means your elbow is going to be nice and underneath the violin. Then we're going to bring the elbow slightly further down like this and then go to the D string. All four fingers at once. And then we're going to bring the elbow slightly further down again. Make sure that your shoulder is not risen and tense. Make sure that your neck stays noble. Make sure that none of that is awkward. So we just brought the elbow around a little bit more and we're going to go to the A string. And this is approximately where the hand feels nice and comfortable. And you'll note the whole time, like with the vibrato exercises, my hand is resting against the violin for comfort. And now the E string, which means we have to go a little bit more in this direction. So bring your elbow slightly further out. Now what I want you to do is gently go from the G to the E and back over to the G again. You can see that my elbow is helping to put my fingers in a position where they feel very, very comfortable. The next thing I would like you to do is not fear going up to the top of the violin and all the way down to first position. A lot of the time we get stuck in this low position and we're so scared of going up high. It just seems like a long way away and it's very uncomfortable for the arm. So I want you to start off your day with these types of exercises. So I want you to go all the way up to the top and note everything I'm doing. I'm holding onto the instrument with my right hand so I don't feel uncomfortable or like I'm going to drop it. I'm going to turn around and show you my shoulder. It's not up high, it's just sitting at a natural position and I want you to go all the way down, all the way back up. I'm not applying any pressure with the left hand. I am just relaxed. I'm just letting my fingers do what they would do naturally. If I do this in slow motion, what you will see is by the time I get to this place, my thumb naturally starts to come underneath the violin. It stays there, but it's not able to hang on to that position but it also certainly does not let go of the instrument and travel up here. Okay, so let's just pause there for one second because that's not 100% true that the thumb never leaves this part of the neck. I'm just gonna clarify that everyone's hand size and your hand's ability to stretch is entirely unique. For some people, the only way they can get to the really high positions is by letting go of this part of the neck and instead placing the thumb on the edge of the fingerboard. But you really have to find what works for you. We'll definitely be going more into high positions in later videos.